Thank you so much for downloading the Perfect PNL template. You would have been prompted to create a copy of this Google Doc, and once you have done so, you'll land on this opening page, which is called the Perfect PNL. I want to assume at this point that you have already watched the Perfect PNL video. If not, you can go to Contact Us tab and use the PerfectPNL.com URL and go and watch that video before you start using this template. Uh, that video, as well as optimizing your finances and the master growth plan, give you an outline of how to best use this tool in order to create the perfect PL in your business. And so this video is really just geared around orientating yourself around this Google document and how to best use it in order to create your perfect PL. So first of all, he has the opening page, the perfect PL. Any tab that is in is in the orange is a tab that you can edit at any point in time. Any other tab has a formula in it, so I suggest until you understand exactly how the sheet works that you don't adjust those formulas at any point in time. And so the way to use it is really simple. The first section, so columns A, uh, B, and C at the top here, is really the outline of what we would want our perfect PL to look like. On the left-hand side, we have a breakdown of what your, perfect, your, your profit and loss statement should be broken down into in terms of sales, advertising, labor, fixed overheads, variable overheads, and owner's expenses. Uh, in order to create more detail around that, you can use the standard chart of accounts tab, which is simply a tab that has our standard chart of accounts that we use for all our clients. Um, and there's a, a high level breakdown of how we, how we categorize different, uh, um, the different categories within both your balance sheet and your profit and loss statement and the account numbers that we use uh, in order to create a more robust reporting system. Um, and then on the right hand side, we have a, a more detailed breakdown with sub accounts of how you can go about uh, breaking down the, the, the chart of accounts that you use in your accounting system. Uh, for instance, down here, um, the code 6100 is advertising marketing account, and you can create a, a series of sub accounts underneath that with these different codes in order to, to create more detail around your advertising account. Likewise, here we have fixed overheads. These are the main accounts that we usually use for fixed overheads. Again, there's space for you to add any accounts as and when you need. And another clear example is variable overheads there. So if you want to create more detail around uh, the chart of accounts that you're using, there's a great tool for you to do that. And so here, all we do is we start with identifying what we, what we want our perfect PL to look like at a particular point in time i.e. a particular revenue level. And for this example, I'm using $50,000 and I've broken down my perfect PL as I've expressed in the video that you can watch before this or assuming you've watched it already. Uh, and for instance, I've broken down advertising and labor in between 15 and 40%. But again, this is customizable and you can change it to whatever you want it to be in order to reflect the true picture of the business model that you are operating in. Um, and so once we have that, it will give us a very clear picture of what our pre-tax profits are, 30%, what we should be attaching to taxes at a, at a base rate of 35%, just for the, the ease of, of, of accounting. And then what we should be adding to our bank account at the end of each month in terms of free cash flow, which is net profit after tax, uh, is really, really important. And that's a number that we're really trying to track. And then across columns D and E, as well as F, we can then start to 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 get a picture of what our business, look, our business looks like currently. So for instance, uh, if I'm generating $50,000 a month in revenue, but my expenses are, are, are these amounts, and it will then give me a very clear picture of what I am spending uh, in terms of percentage of my revenue. And in this model that I've just, a pure example here, we are spending $6,000 too much in our expenses. Therefore, we are fundamentally impacting our free cash flow at the end of the month. Um, and that's based the base point of this tool and how to use it. So you can go about implementing that in your business immediately. Uh, lower down, we have a lovely little tool called the, the runway, which you can then add in your different levels of income that you would like to have at different points in time. And we'll give you a very clear picture of how that is broken down in terms of advertising labor and your overheads. So thanks again for downloading this template. 